So, what do we have here? A mysterious title and a black chair. Aha, so now it's all revealed. It's our identity booth, in which people can come and experience a range of biometric techniques. If we take a look at the side panel, we can see the details of the three techniques we've incorporated. Face recognition, iris recognition, and fingerprint recognition. And now we see you, Paul. What are you doing? Well, first of all, I'm placing my finger on a sensor just below the screen, which activates the fingerprint detection. We then move on to the facial recognition. So that's taking a series of photographs on the, uh, the person in front of the camera. And finally, trying out the iris recognition. Now, this is the most complicated. And as you can see, you have to line your head up very carefully. And here we have it all printed out onto a mock-up identity card, complete with the participant's face, their iris image, and their fingerprint. Now, we filmed those early bits before anyone else was around, but here we are, having opened the doors and welcomed in some of the 1,500 visitors that came to the showcase over those two days. And, as we can see, the identity booth proved to be fairly popular. Nice to see you getting down to their level, by the way. Now, let's have a look in more detail about what's actually going on with the booth. Can you tell us a bit about some of the technology involved? So within the booth we've embedded these three different sensors, so at the bottom you can see the fingerprint detector, so that is an optical device which takes a picture of the user's fingerprint. Just above that we have a dual purpose device, so the primary use is as a webcam, so that's being used for facial recognition, taking pictures of the user who sat before it and then turning that into a series of uh, vectors which represents the facial pattern. Then we utilise the iris scanner. This, as I've already mentioned, was the most complicated one. So the user has to line up their eye directly looking into a mirror ahead of them and then moving their head backwards and forwards as they approach the device, which therefore illuminates with a red, green or blue light, depending on the distance they are from the sensor. And providing they get it right, we manage to capture a very good quality sample of that user's iris patterns. All of this was designed on a Microsoft Surface device that's utilising the Windows 8 operating system and that was uh, developed by our colleague Dr Nathan Clark. Now if we leave the booth we can see a little bit more of the activity that was going on on our security stand during the rest of the showcase with some of our other colleagues and some of our computer and information security students presenting some internet security tips and advice for the public that came in. And of course what we've also got is another of your creations, Paul, with our password strength meter and the accompanying lights that you created for it, all being ably demonstrated for us here by our good friend Ram Herkenaidu from Kaspersky Lab. 